doing a bit of prospecting, I hope. VK3 UFO, VK3 DA, bring me back a nice nugget, mate. What an amazing concept. It's uh, the ultimate uh, linked dipole, isn't it, really? Picture yourself with a handheld, hardly making it into the repeater. It happens too often, doesn't it? Sorry, last station, you were really uh, struggling to get in the repeater there. What you actually need is a better antenna. One that gives full-size performance, but preferably also fairly small. After hearing of my plight, Andrew from BQ Tastic Antennas sent me this package. It's a nice little package. Presumably these are the instructions. It comes with several boxes of clips and in its own plastic bag looks like an elastic support rope. Normally I dive straight in, but since this is a proper review, we've got to look at the instructions first. If you've got a chance to get instructions before you buy something, I suggest you do so. These instructions are particularly interesting. It's also fully guaranteed the Cliptastic will make you very happy and talk very far. So that's really what amateur radio is all about. So without further ado, we'll go and give it a test. Going to do a bit of prospecting, I hope. VK3 UFO, VK3 DA, bring me back a nice nugget, mate. By itself, the clip tenor relies on gravity. If you're in space, then it's not going to work, unless you attach the optional elastic to it. I hope you're well, Jim. Good on you for going up the Murray, sounds good. VK3YE, VK3YSP uh, mobile. Well, if it's uh, an Android antenna, it uh, must work all right. Sounds uh, impressive. A little bit of noise in the background, but not much, so uh, you're not doing too badly. But why doesn't that surprise me um, at all? I mean, that's just what an amazing concept. It's uh, the ultimate uh, linked dipole, isn't it, really? I heard the, uh, the frequency uh, range was just absolutely amazing, uh, uh, probably in, uh, in uh, one and a half centimetre or... Uh, uh, wavelength steps, so, uh, and of course it's, uh, it's quite adjustable uh, by the sound. Uh, what happens to all of the paper clips in the world that, uh, that people straighten out? Uh, where do they all go to? Another great thing about the Cliptastic antenna is its versatility. If you buy one of these adapters, BNC to two banana sockets, you can have it as a loop, a full wavelength around in perimeter. And if you want the super long feature, get this exclusive ground clip. That, plus the tail that follows, gives you super long transmitting and receiving range. Much more than any other antenna supplied with handhelds. Twelve of the larger paper clips, which is about a quarter wavelength on, on two metres. Um, if I made it only three or four paper clips, that would work on 70 centimetres. And if I used the whole box, then that would probably work on six metres. Well, if it's uh, an Android antenna, it, uh, it must work all right. I can do nothing but highly recommend the VK3BQ Cliptastic Antenna. All parts available from your supermarket. And with the best guarantee in the business, you can't go wrong. Thanks to Andrew, VK3BQ, for the review unit. If you want to find out more about portable antennas that you can carry while QRP, check out my latest ebook, Hand Carried QRP Antennas. Around 200 pages for $5 US. There's plenty of practical ideas and hints for the antenna builder.